I think the example I would pick is that of the bladed disc, or the blisk as we call it. And why I think that's a good example is that firstly we've got a number of key technologies in there which Rolls-Royce has developed and that's the hollow fan blade and the diffusion bonding within that and also the linear friction welding of the blade to the disc. And what I think is particularly exciting about that is that although that was originally developed for the civil aerospace industry, the way that that's been integrated into the new Joint Strike Fighter has created a unique opportunity because although weight is very important in any aerospace application, it's particularly critical in vertical takeoff landing applications. And so to be able to provide a solution like that into a big program like the F-35 is a great opportunity for Rolls-Royce. And we're really pleased with how that's, that's operating. And of course, the first UK one of those went through its test flight just the last week. The, um, the back end, the main power plant, is provided by GE or Pratt & Whitney. But the power takeoff from that supports the lift fan system, which is unique to Rolls-Royce. Primarily, the external supply chain benefits from the orders that we're able to capture through these technologies. And I think it's important to remember that our value of spend in the external supply chain exceeds £2 billion per annum. Now, what this means, of course, is that the majority of the components in the engine, actually we don't manufacture ourselves. We manufacture about 20% of a gas turbine engine. The parts that we manufacture are those which contain core technologies which we like to keep within Rolls-Royce. But there's an awful lot of stuff that we're quite happy to put out to the external supply chain. So in terms of parts manufacture, it creates opportunities there. But secondly, I think it's important to remember that some of our research and development funding goes into the AMRCs, that is the Advanced Manufacturing Research Centres, and they work with a variety of different SMEs, both with our technological inputs and also developing their own that can either be used by Rolls-Royce or by external suppliers.